In Huntsville, the Simcoe Muskoka District Health Unit has set up a clinic at the Active Living Center, providing the vaccinations to target groups right now. Clinic manager Chantel Reed says there's been a very steady flow of residents who want to get vaccinated. So many so that the clinics are booked up for a few weeks in advance now. So here in Muskoka, we've been running clinics about three times a week um, between Huntsville and Bracebridge, and we're doing anywhere from 200 to 230 immunizations a day at our Muskoka site. Uh, we do anticipate that as the month rolls on and vaccine supply becomes um, more available to us, that we'll be able to open that up more and have more clinics and more appointments available. Reed explains the process of what to expect when you walk through the front door. People are coming into the clinic at their appointment time. They're greeted by a screener at the front door and they're screened for any symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, and as long as they're asymptomatic, then they can come into the clinic. They stop and they uh, meet with our check-in staff initially to get themselves registered for their immunization and to identify which priority group they belong with. And then they come into the clinic and see one of our immunizers and we have a whole team working together here. We have uh, nurses from the health unit, we have community partners that are sending staff to help us to immunize. We have paramedics that have been here, so it's been great team. Uh, they receive their immunization here, have any of their questions answered, and then they proceed over to our aftercare area and they wait with us for about 15 minutes just to make sure that they're feeling comfortable, they're not having any kind of allergic reaction, um, and then they're able to proceed home. And as they're leaving, they talk to our checkout staff and they take their contact information so that they can call them for their second appointment to be re-immunized uh, when the time comes. Your TV Muskoka had an opportunity to speak outside the clinic with those looking forward to getting the vaccine for reasons from health concerns to just wanting to stop the spread of the virus. Very motivated because I want to live. That's as simple as you get. Life and death. And do you think that other people should be motivated as, as well as you? Oh. Maybe people that don't have underlying health conditions? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, by all means. I know there's people saying, oh, I'm not getting a dang thing. Well, what happens then when your kid or you get dying and oh I should have got it. That's yeah. hindsight. I work at the women's shelter so that's what's brought me in early. Um, so uh, because it's congregate living so it makes us higher risk. So that's why I'm here and I like to help keep people safe and myself and get over the COVID. Well big reasons that we all need to get the vaccine and I feel so good about it, almost excited. Like I just said before, like it's almost like Christmas and it's just gonna be helpful and it's on a roll now. <laughs> so that's, that's the perfect thing. It's like, we're, we're all getting going now. Meanwhile, the positivity is spreading to frontline workers in Muskoka as workers with Muskoka Paramedic Services have started getting the vaccine as well. Chief Jeff McWilliam explains how many of his staff have got the shot so far. So at this time, we have about 80% of those that are uh, eligible or have elected to get the shot. Uh, vaccinated with their first one and and of those about 25 percent have already received their second shot. This is another tool in the toolbox. It certainly doesn't take away from proper PPE and scene management and really being careful about how you conduct yourself not only when you're working but when you're in the community but it certainly does bring uh, a little bit more peace of mind to what they do day in and day out.